Hi guys, today we are going to talk about what are the various criteria on which you can figure out what chimney is probably the best chimney for your kitchen. Today we are going to talk about uh, the specifications for figuring out the right chimney for you. For this, there are generally two kinds of chimneys that are available in the market using two different technologies. One is the chimney which has a mesh filter and the other is the one which has baffle filters in it. So the mesh filter generally has an aluminium meshing in its filters which captures a lot of the odor, a lot of the uh, oil particles and other particles in it and the other air is basically sucked out through the outlet. So these are the filters which are a bit more tedious to maintain. They require a more amount of washing and cleaning. Generally you need to do it every 15 days or so to make sure that the chimney does not get completely clogged up and the pre a, lot of, a lot more pressure is not being put on the motor because of the filters not being clean. Uh, so this is so this chimney is it could be a very big handful if uh, you know you are a family who likes to you know fry a lot of stuff a lot of time you know and are a fan of prontas then yeah probably you're gonna have to maybe min clean the chimney filters maybe once a week or maybe once in ten days also uh, as more and more you clean these filters they do get rusted over a period of time and they may require that you need to completely change them after a period of four to five years so as the other one are the baffle filters now these chimneys are actually uh, much more easier to maintain and they require cleaning once in every six months they use a very different technology to cut the various particles from the air and uh, segregates them in a proper way. These are the filters which can, which are generally a little more expensive. Uh, they have, this is a better technology to be used and are used in various international areas as well. So this filter is, as I mentioned earlier, little more easy to maintain, a little more hassle free. Uh, they do require clean cleaning and uh, these filters generally need to be cleaned once in every five to six months but the cleaning process is a little more tedious as well. You generally need to keep them soaked in a soapy water for let's say an overnight period of time. And then you need to take them out, rinse them properly, then reinstall them. These filters also do not have, have a similar lifespan around six years, you can say six to seven years, after which sometimes they require that they need to be changed. So these are the two uh, basic criteria based upon uh, your cooking style, your maintenance, uh, preferences that you would like to have uh, on the basis of which you can select which chimney you want. The other criteria is the major one, the well discussed one is the suction capacity. The suction capacity is basically the motor's, the motor's ability to suck the most amount of air and throw it into the outlet at a regulated pace. Now, this most people they generally they generally just go for try to go for the highest suction capacity or a decent amount of suction capacity to make sure that oh you know the air is sucked out properly and the air is uh, you, you, you know the fumes are not the, the kitchen does not has too much order the air is sucked out immediately and everything uh, but the point is the suction capacity is more is more for the purpose of making sure that uh, the cooking area and the outlet through which the air actually needs to move out. The distance between those uh, are the major factor that needs to be considered. If the, if the place where you are cooking and the place where the chimney is, they are away, let's say 10 feet from the place where the air needs to be vented out, uh, then you need a thousand suction capacity. That's the basic uh, ballpark through which you can calculate. So if it's eight feet away, you can do it with uh, eight, eight, 800 uh, suction capacity also. So generally, let's say if the outlet is right above the chimney uh, or pretty near to it, one or two feet, then you can even take 500 or 600 suction capacity and it will do fine. Try to go for a very high suction capacity even when the outlet uh, is very close to the chimney. 
So what that does is that generally adds to the noise a lot because with a high power motor, the generally the noise of the suction is a bit too high. So you can avoid that because you don't actually need a thousand suction capacity if the outlet is just like two feet away. That would be a bit of an overkill. So so yeah, you can you can take that into account and maybe the, the noise in the kitchen from the suction will be less also. So we've covered two criteria. The third one is generally design, which is you can take, you can look at the various designs of the chimneys. Uh, generally, we guys suggest a flat line chimney, uh, which is basically, uh, which is flat. And you can have a somewhat of storage or some amount of more space overhead it, above it, which you can use to have small storages and small decorative items can be put over there as well. Uh, the other ones are the one which have like wider hoods. Uh, sometimes some people, it appeals to quite a few people. It's a real older design, but it still works and a lot of people buy it. These are the basic two design models for chimneys. And uh, we get various different materials from time to time of chimneys. It could, it's generally steel, sometimes it's glass. Uh, also to give it a very uh, luxury look and uh, Sometimes it's even acrylic nowadays, uh, which is not advisable, but sometimes they are. Another segregation for chimneys, the two major segregations are the island chimney and the wall mounted one. So most of the time people go for wall mounted chimneys. These are more practical and uh, more durable, basically used in medium to small size kitchens everywhere. The island chimneys are basically these big chimneys in which the ducting needs to go into the roof and POP is done after that to cover the ducting. And uh, this is generally because the chimney is not going to be wall mounted, but it's going to be mounted from the roof so that uh, it can provide a good suction capacity to a cooking area which is in the middle of the room rather than near a wall. These are generally very expensive chimneys because they require very high suction capacity and a somewhat different kind of a design so that it can be wall mounted properly. So these are the basic measures and criteria through which you can figure out what kind of chimney you know you would like for your modular kitchen. And uh, you would know why and what is the purpose of suction capacity, uh, what are baffle filters, what are the other kinds of filters, which would be your preference in it, what designs you can take, and this would help. So, thank you for watching the videos guys and uh, you can like and subscribe the video. You can share it with people who are maybe building their houses and uh, do leave a comment. Let us know how you like the video. What kind of content would you like more from us?